My story is a bit special. That's how Manolo Sanchez defines his career. One club man and son of another legendary Real Madrid figure, Manuel Sanchez Martinez, member of Madrid's so-called Yeye -ye generation, the young Manolo idolized another player from that mid-60s team, other than his father. I always loved watching Pepe Piri and Ule Stilke. With the latter, he ended up sharing the changing room. Indeed, Manolo Sanchez would go on to enjoy a career which his father would have been proud of. He formed part of another golden generation, La Quinta del Buitre, playing practically the whole of his career as centre-back. But a defensive role like that his father had played was not his original destiny. No, no, no. No, no. In fact, at the start, I was supposed to be a striker. I started at Real Madrid playing up front, then there was this backward progression into midfield. I spent a long time in midfield. Back then, you still had the sweeper role, like a midfielder but playing behind the defence. That was my third step, playing sweeper. The fourth step was moving into central defence. From there, the only thing left would have been playing in goal. Aged just 18, he got into the first team. In his first season, he started 16 games and scored three goals under manager Alfredo Di Stefano. His teammates were players like Vicente del Bosque, Stilke, Juanito, Santillana, Gallego or José Antonio Camacho. These men were idols for young Madrid fans. Hay demasiado poco. There's not much time in between players being your idols and becoming your teammates. I was in that changing room when I was 18, but at 17, I'd been going to the Bernabeu to see them. I was in the reserves, but I never really thought I was going to get into the first team so soon. So that's a drastic change you have to come to terms with. They all help you, though, of course. When you watch some of the veteran players, you immediately realized what it meant to be in that changing room. And it didn't take long for Sanchez to find out what it meant to be in the Real Madrid first team. The pressure could well have cut short the promising start to his career, but Alfredo Di Stefano was there, his manager and one of the people who had most influence over him to advise him and keep his feet on the ground. When you're playing in the first team, it's like you're in the clouds. The cloud is there, but you don't realize it until one day, poff, you're back on the ground again. That's when you look around and say to yourself, here I am in the Bernabeu, playing with teammates called Juanito, Santillana, Gallego, Stilke. After three games like that, Alfredo came up to me and said, listen, kid, either wake up or you're not going to last here long. You have to respond to advice like that because you know he's there to help you. But in the end, he lasted more than a long time. In the 90s, he became Real Madrid captain, taking over from Miguel Porlan Chendo. Manolo Sanchez was the man who had the honor of lifting the club's seventh and eighth European Cups. I felt proud for what it meant and because it was a huge responsibility. Being the captain of Real Madrid isn't just about putting on the armband, being there at the coin toss and raising the trophies. It's a special job in the changing room and with regard to the fans, the club itself. Your role with the press can be complicated. The very first thing I did was something that wasn't at all usual back then, but something that I thought was logical and positive for the squad. I was the captain, but I liked talking about captains. We decided that it would be better to have four captains, the four most veteran members of the squad, that we would share the responsibility. Aged 36, after spending more than half his life at the club, Manolo Sanchez hung up his boots with the feeling that he achieved all he'd set out to do. I began in the Real Madrid first team when I was 18 and retired when I was 36. 18 seasons. Only Paco Gento has managed to stay as long as that. And I was there during an era that was enjoyable. I never enjoyed training and playing football as much as I did in those last few years. And when the moment came to say goodbye, it was a decision I'd mulled over. It was a logical decision and a necessary one.
A long career full of successes and memories. Eight Ligas, two Copas del Rey, five Super Cups and two Champions Leagues. And even more important, the recognition and respect of teammates and rivals. It's the story of Manolo Sanchez.